Hello children today i am going to read chapter number 12 friction as a force from the interactive science class 4 book now let's get started with reading the chapter friction as a force chapter number 12 friction as a force sometimes you slip on the ground when it is smooth or watery you say that the floor is slippery Why is it that you do not slip while walking on a rough surface? Let us understand it. Friction is a force that opposes motion. When an object is moving, let us say you are walking on a road, the soles of your shoes are in contact with the surface of the road. The tiny pieces on the road are not so smooth. They make contact with the soles of your shoes and get somewhat stuck. When you lift your foot your body exerts force to walk this force that stops you from moving is called friction or the frictional force examples of friction walking washing your hands putting on your clothes rubbing your hair moving your tongue are examples of friction rubbing both hands together to create heat and a child sliding down a slide are also examples of friction Here is an activity for you. You can read this activity and it is a wonderful activity which will make you learn the concept of friction. Let us understand how rough surface can be one reason for friction force through this activity. Playing carrom board. You must have all played carrom board. So steps are number 1 sprinkle powder on the carrom board to make it smooth. Number 2 on an uneven surface the striker would not go far because of its rough surface. Number 3 when we sprinkle powder the uneven surface gets filled up by powder and roughness gets removed. Number 4 now the striker can travel far distance with the same force. Now from this activity you must have got that friction When the surface is smooth friction is less and when the surface is rough the friction is more as we can observe while sprinkling powder on the carrom board the friction decreases Can we increase or decrease friction now this is the next question and the answer is friction can be increased or decreased according to our requirement yes so we can increase or decrease friction to increase the friction we can make the two surfaces in contact rough that is why the roads are not made very smooth the new tires of vehicles are with grooves and protruding otherwise there are chances of skidding on vehicles as you can look at this tire friction can also be increased by increasing the area of surface in contact with each other the more the area of surface the more the friction is so it is always good to replace old and smooth tires of your vehicle with the new tires otherwise there will be less friction and more chances of skidding on the road Here is an another activity for you children. Take two empty shoe boxes of different sizes, weigh them, put some pebbles or sand in the smaller box to make both the boxes of same weight. Now slide them one by one starting from the same point of a wooden plank. Note down the time taken by each one of them with the help of a stopwatch. You will observe that the box with a bigger surface takes more time to cover the distance what is the reason this is because the friction is more because of the bigger surface area in contact with the slide to decrease the friction the surface in contact should be made smooth for example when it rains the water fills the tiny spaces and uneven portions of a road the road becomes smooth it is therefore advised not to drive fast on a rainy day when the road is wet or the vehicle will skid and may turn over machines work best with least friction in order to reduce friction various machine and 
engine oils are used such oils are called lubricating oils or lubricant so now you know what is a lubricant the oil that is used to reduce friction in the machines the oil makes the moving part smooth hence the machine works smoothly making less noise grease is a thick oily paste material that is used in machines to make its parts smooth and reduce the friction it is also a lubricant sometimes we use fine powder to fill the gaps and make the surface smooth so grease is an a very thick uh, oily paste and it is also a lubricant friction is less if the surface area of two objects which are in contact is less the last activity you did with the two shoe boxes showed that the smaller box with less surface area moved faster friction is useful Although friction is a force that opposes motion still it is very useful to us number 1 it allows us to move without slipping you walk using the friction of the ground number 2 people are able to drive their vehicles because of the friction rails move on tracks due to friction agar friction nahi hogi to ye possible nahi hoga Number 3 you could not hold a pencil in your hand without friction between the pencil and your hand also you are able to write on a paper because of the friction between the lead of your pencil and the paper Number 4 a match stick burns when it is rubbed against the match box you must have tried this out children because we all enjoy lighting up a match stick and that is it burns because of the friction number 5 an object kept on the ground or on any surface does not slide easily because of the friction for example a chair or a table stays where it is kept so without that it will slip and it will cause a great difficulty for all of us let's read this box on the right corner skates help you to move faster because the wheels of the skates touch small surface area and the rink is made smooth now let's read harmful effects of friction this is also very important children number 1 is friction causes moving objects to stop or slow down number 2 friction between the parts of a machine does not allow it to work properly and it gets spoiled fast it produces heat causing waste of energy in machines to understand it let us do an activity let's read this activity children rub your palms vigorously rub 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 them hard do they get warm the friction between the two surfaces that is palms produced heat yes they get warm because of the heat produced by rubbing your palms heat is a kind of energy similarly friction between the parts of the machines produces heat now let's read number 3 in places where it snows the friction decreases and it becomes difficult for people to walk once the snow becomes ice the hard surface becomes smooth with very little friction It is dangerous to walk on surface with the ice as one can fall easily and get hurt. Number 4 is the surface of the earth is made up of giant pieces called the tectonic plates. We all know this and we have studied it in SST also. These plates keep moving. So there are tectonic plates on the surface of the earth. These plates keep moving. Sometimes when a plate moves and rubs against another plate then what happens let's read further friction is caused the rubbing of plates leads to an earthquake okay children so now you know how earthquakes occur when the tectonic plates rub one another and friction is caused and because of which earthquake occurs Next is number 5 friction causes wear and tear. For example, wear and tear of machines, tires and soles of our shoes. 
you must have seen your shoes getting old and the sole becoming flat and this is how wear and tear of shoes tires and even of machines occur now let's read this box king is a sport of places where it snows heavily and the surface becomes icy and smooth look at the skiing boards they are long to have more surface areas in touch with the ice and avoid slipping now you know why the skiing boards have more surface area now let's read now you know that after reading the chapter the main points we have learnt in the chapter are as follows number 1 friction is the force that opposes motion number 2 friction can be increased by a making the two surfaces in contact rough b increasing the surface areas in contact या तो रफ बना दो सरफेस को या सरफेस एरिया को इंक्रीज कर दो नंबर थ्री फ्रिक्शन इज लेस वेन ए द टू सर्फेस आर स्मूथ बी द सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ द टू बॉडीज आर लेस नंबर फोर फ्रिक्शन इज यूजफुल इन आर डेली लाइफ इट हेल्प अस टू वॉक यूज वहीकल्स राइट एंड कीप ऑब्जेक्ट इन देर प्लेसेज नंबर फाइव फ्रिक्शन ऑन द अदर हैंड कैन स्टॉप मूविंग ऑब्जेक्ट और स्लो देम डाउन Number six, it harms the machines. Number seven, more friction or very less friction does not allow us to move. So that is the end of the chapter, children. I hope you have understood the chapter by listening to it and understanding it very properly and doing some activities along. Here are some back exercises done for you. You can go through them and. there is also extended lesson plan that is beyond the book just go through it and remember do not forget to like and subscribe our channel smart kids wonder like the video share it with your friends and subscribe our channel for more updates do listen to the stories that are there on the channel and write your comments below if you need further help thank you so much children happy learning